Good afternoon, County Executive Hill, Chairman McKay, and esteemed members of the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors. I sincerely appreciate this opportunity to address you in the broader Fairfax community during this budget public hearing. Fairfax County Public Schools is the cornerstone of our community. We foster creative thinking, a culture of caring, and lifelong connections. We represent hope and opportunity. The school division's success is inextricably linked to the county's ability to thrive. As school board chair, my unwavering commitment to ensuring that FCPS students, staff, and families thrive is my reason for being here today, albeit virtually. It is also what propels me without question to respectfully request that the Board of Supervisors fully fund FCPS's FY 2022 advertised budget. To say the last year has been challenging is an understatement. The pandemic has brought fear, uncertainty, and devastating loss to many of our families, friends, and neighbors. Loss of life, loss of income, and significant hardships in between. The pandemic has also exacerbated long-standing inequities in education and achievement gaps that were already far too wide. COVID combined with a national reckoning with racism has tested the resolve of FCPS students, staff, and families in ways we could never have imagined. And while efforts to dismantle racism, hate, and the multiple forms in which they manifest is an ongoing and exhausting battle, I believe the renewed energy and urgency to seek change will invigorate us and bring us closer to a point where every human, no matter their race, ethnicity, gender identity, religion, ability, or creed, will experience the inclusion, acceptance, and respect they each so richly deserve. I am also optimistic that the worst of COVID is behind us and not a second too soon. FCPS school-based and operational staff have been working endless hours since March 13, 2020 to provide students with engaging instruction delivered virtually and more recently concurrently with teachers simultaneously instructing students at home along with those who have chosen to return in person. Additionally, staff have been tirelessly developing and implementing academic and social emotional supports for students and families. There is still a tremendous amount of work to be done and resources to be secured in order for FCPS staff to continue this critical undertaking and mitigate the damage caused by COVID-related disruptions in learning. The FCPS's FY 2022 advertised budget, which was unanimously adopted by the Fairfax County School Board on February 18th, was developed with this recovery in mind. It represents an increase of 75.5 million or 2.4% from the FY21 approved budget. This thoughtful and caring budget acknowledges the school division's most pressing needs. It is student-centered, staff-focused, and fiscally responsible. It prioritizes and funds resources that support our students' academic and social-emotional needs. The $3.2 billion FY22 advertised budget also recognizes the commitment of FCPS teachers and staff with a proposed 3% compensation rate increase for all employees. What does a student-centered budget look like? Of the $3.2 billion FY22 budget, 86% is allocated directly to instruction and instructional support, illustrating the importance FCPS places on instructional programs. For the upcoming fiscal year, FCPS projects enrollment of 189,944 students. They are diverse, coming from 204 countries with more than 200 different languages spoken at home. 31% of our students are economically disadvantaged. 19% participate in English for speakers of other languages or the ESOL programming. And 15% access special education services. 100% of them are amazing and fully deserving of your support. 
Virtual learning has been a huge adjustment. While many students who were performing well prior to COVID continue to do so, many others have struggled. They will need extensive resources and support to help them recover. The FY22 budget recognizes that demand. For example, it includes $4.9 million and funding for 50 positions to support elementary level ESOL students in order for FCPS to begin meeting the prescribed changes to the standards of quality mandated by the Virginia Board of Education. I must also acknowledge the astounding toll that the pandemic and racial injustice have taken on our children's mental health. Concern for parents whose jobs have been impacted, illness in the family, isolation from friends, adapting to virtual learning, these are just a few of the factors that have contributed to an increase in student stress. The FY22 advertised budget accounts for these important concerns and provides social, emotional, and academic support beyond the summer, where ESSER funding will be tapped to help struggling students. Fairfax County Public School employees are a critical component of our students' recovery. The budget includes a 3% compensation increase for all employees at a cost of $73.7 million to recognize the commitment our staff members have made during the past year. After schools closed in March of 2020, teachers needed to learn to teach in an entirely different way. With support from their school's leadership and central office staff, they rose to the challenge with flexibility and determination. They have been the faces of hope and stability when our students needed them most. It is not enough for the school board or the Fairfax County community to say how much we appreciate our teachers and staff. We have to show them. In 2017, FCPS began implementing a multi-year plan to enhance salaries to make them more competitive with other school districts around the region. We cannot let that effort be in vain. As mentioned earlier, our employees have been working above and beyond this past year. Even if COVID were to disappear tomorrow, staff will still be expected to perform Herculean efforts to help Fairfax County students and families heal. It is extremely difficult to hear stories about outstanding educators leaving FCPS for other counties because they will earn more. We must keep FCPS teachers in FCPS. Teachers are saying that they do not feel valued. Let's prove to them they are. Our students are counting on us to get this right. As my presentation comes to a close, I ask you to remember that FCPS's FY 2022 advertised budget is fiscally responsible, and most importantly, based on the needs of our system. The school board began planning this budget last summer, and we have had thoughtful discussions at budget committee meetings, regular meetings, and work sessions, and have listened to our constituents. We value our ongoing budget collaboration with the Board of Supervisors and are proud of the partnership we have built. The budget represents the Board's values and accounts for the harsh economic climate brought on by the pandemic, while also recognizing that a high-performing school system serves as the economic foundation of a thriving community. My colleagues and I understand that there is a $90.2 million shortfall between FCPS's budget request in the county's proposed FY 2022 budget. However, we have to be true to the urgent needs of our system, students, and staff. FCPS is at a pivotal moment. Fully funding this budget will help us to maximize the opportunity before us by investing in every FCPS student and providing the resources each of them needs to reach their full potential. Please, Provide us with the means to meet their needs as your investment will reap high dividends for the entire Fairfax County community. I would like to thank the County Executive, Chairman of the Board of Supervisors, and Board of Supervisors members for their attention and consideration. Again, we are truly grateful for our partnership. I am also extending my sincere appreciation to our Budget Chair, Ms. Melanie Marin, Vice Chair, Ms. Tammy Darnock Koufax, and to Ms. Lee Burden and the entire FCPS budget team for their incredible work. Finally, thank you to Superintendent Braybrand for remaining true to the mission of serving every child by name and by need.